Alright, so I'm back to baling hay here with the uh, Corona baler. Uh, everything's working perfectly. Uh, I've been called every name in the book for running into a fast rock or fast stone. Um, you know, told I was an idiot, and the, the guy that raked in front of me was an idiot. And, you know, it just kind of blows my mind that shit happens, you know. You can't cry over it. Everybody has a problem from time to time. You can't avoid all obstacles. And if you tell me that you can, you're just a, a, a full-fledged liar. Um, it's just the way it is. You can be as careful as, uh, I don't know, as careful as, as, as Mother Teresa and still have a problem. It doesn't matter. Uh, it just happens. It's called life. So, today I'm reading some comments about, uh, on the latest video that I did, and it was about, uh, uh, somebody asked me if all I grew was hay. And another guy chimed in, to whom I know personally, I went to school with him, and uh, he's like, yeah, well the deer, 30 to 40 deer, uh, you know, pretty much put you out of the grain business. 30 to 40 deer on a 10 acre field will put anybody out of a grain business. And this other idiot, he chimes in, he's like, oh yeah, well, we just, we have that too, and it's a write-off, it's a tax write-off. Well, if you got no money to even, you know, fill out a, a tax return, you know, there's no write-off, it's just nothing. You, you've lost money, and they don't give you money for losing money, the government that is. So I just had to laugh about that. Why does this thing feel like it's stuck in four wheel drive? Well, it is. Um, but anyway, uh, so the other day, I mean, two days ago, I was looking at George Saunders' website. He's another uh, farmer YouTuber. He, a lot of people call him the Eng my English counterpart. And uh, I've been in contact with George a little bit, just a little bit over email, a couple of PMs on uh, YouTube. I will be headed to England at some point next month, um, and I will be meeting up with him. And no, Patreon is not paying for that. Oh, that's so funny. But uh, anyway, I was reading some of the comments on his YouTube page, and there are a whole other group of assholes on his. It's like we attract trolls from all walks of life. And uh, I'm pretty much convinced that these are farm sim warriors that are... Uh, are making these crazy comments like, on my farm I have this, that, and the other thing. Well, okay. And they just, okay, that's great. I'm glad that people have this, that, and the other thing on their farm. The, the problem with it is, is it, it's a load of horse shit. You know, they, they think they've got everything all sewed up and they know everything about anything. And, and the reality is when you, you go onto their on their YouTube page, they, they're just a faceless name, and they're just a bunch of, you know, like I said, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, farm sim warriors, that's what they are. So, I just have to laugh about it, because they're on everybody's channel. Now, I mentioned how farms works today on, well, it'll be yesterday on today's video, and when I did that 450 uh, R, R450 windrower. Know, kind of a comparison or a review. And I, I mentioned uh, Ryan from How Farms Works, and wouldn't you know it, there's people bad-mouthing Ryan on my channel. And I, I never bad-mouth Ryan. Ryan is uh, a young guy. He's getting started in the world, and, you know, we don't know everything about anything, and I offered up a, a little bit of free advice, and a, it was not meant in a bad way, and I don't believe Ryan took it in a bad way, but... You know, you get people saying that Ryan's an idiot. Well, he's not an idiot. You know, he's a he's a, he's a farm kid. He's 23 years old, and and he's a farmer. He's doing it. He's not doing it on Saturday mornings on his day off on a computer screen. He's out there getting his hands dirty. Um, you know, I know a lot about the hay business because I am in the hay business. I know a lot about the grain business because I was in the grain business. Why I gave it up? is because of deer. There's no other reason I gave it up other than the severe deer pressure. I mean, I can grow 80 bushel beans. I can grow 190 bushel corn. I can. But where the deer are, you're talking 8 bushel beans. And, I don't know, 19 bushel corn. 
that's what they would do to you, and that just destroys your average, and before you know it, you're no longer producing 80 bushel beans, you're producing 18 bushel beans. The last year I grew soybeans, my average on 475 acres of soybeans was 18.6 bushels to the acre. I had 60 bushel beans, I had 80 bushel beans, but I also had a lot of 3 and 4 bushel to the acre beans. So, fooey on you if you think you know what I'm doing here. Uh, the hay business? I thought it was funny. The one guy, he's like, oh yeah, I hear the price of uh, moldy rotting hay is through the roof. Well, you know what? I'm not driving half bad equipment. I'm not, I live in a house that's paid for, so I guess maybe, just maybe, I'm making enough more money than you guys are growing that grain. So, and when the price is set at the beginning of the year, that's the price at the end of the year. There's no fluctuation. When I put, you know, when I plant a field of hay, I know that I'm going to get X, Y, Z per ton, and it's going to be that way, or close to it, or maybe a little more, or even a little less, but not dollars less per ton, or ten dollars less per ton. It's literally pennies. So, yeah, it's called planning. I'll do my business, you do yours. I mind mine, you mind yours. That's it. It's that simple. I was really, I really find it amazing that all these sim, you know, farm sim warriors think they know everything about everybody else's business area or even marketing strategy. I have an awesome marketing strategy. I market my hay. I know how to do it. I've done it for 18 years. Uh, you know, I've been in the mulch hay business now 18 years. I think I know a little bit about it. Uh, I was in the grain business since the day I was born. So, anyhow, this is just a little bit of a rant and a laugh at people that really honestly live in a glass bubble uh, called Farm Sim. You know, they sit at their desk and play Farm Sim. Sim. I play Farm Sim, and I'll tell you what, I failed every single time. I am not ashamed to say this. That computer program does not run off of world, real world uh, agriculture. So if you think you know what you're doing by playing farm sim, come on out into the real world, get your shoes a little dirty out in the field, and you'll find out that computer games are not like the real world, and farming is not like a computer game. It's a lot of fun, but anyway, thanks for watching.